Oh, you're saying. <laughs> oh, here comes the fun part. Yep. So you guys, it's so humid out here that the camera is fogging over. It's supposed to be 113 to 115 today because the humidity is so high. Can you even see me? All right, well, the kids and I are headed out to our summer camp prep day. So every summer for the last four years, two friends and I have gotten together and done a summer camp for our kids. It's a week long, it's really, really fun. And we do one day a little bit earlier where we prep our stuff. Like we make our t-shirts, we teach them the summer camp songs and just kind of get the kids excited about the theme and what we're doing. And so that is today. Next week is the summer camp and I am just excited. I was really nervous because I've been feeling so sick, but I think the medication is helping. Like I'm still feeling sick in the morning, but yesterday evening I felt pretty good so I'm hopeful I'm hopeful that I'm gonna be feeling well enough and summer camps just such a great memory time with my kids I'm really looking forward to it we start with summer camp songs they're awesome what you guys get to do is you get to put your own face on it Caleb, you're gonna make a face on this little person. So my awesome friend already painted this on there and then she has stencils for us that we're going to put the actual faces on the Lego people. Good job, you paint inside that stencil, okay? Can I go play? Yes, you can go play now. We're gonna let your pirate face dry. I'm done. You think you're done? Let's see it. Pink bottle in. Cool, dude. All right, so Elise is gonna put a bow on the little person. It looks beautiful already. Are you excited about it? Miss mm -hmm. Laura, do you wanna put a bow on your little face? Do you wanna put a bow on your little face? Yeah. Yeah? The pink one? Yeah, what color do you want your bow to be? Pink. That'll be really cute. Can you give me that? Sure. This is just my little shirt. Yeah, this is your little shirt. Okay, I found the pink. Oh, can you it? Yeah, let's put it on the bow. All right, Miss Laura wants to paint her pink bow. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Okay, you paint it right here. Right up here. Right up there. Oh, good job. Oh, that looks so nice. I'm painting the inside. You are, you're painting the inside. So the kids are getting their first Lego challenge. So the kids were given a picture of a famous building and then they're going to try to recreate it in Legos. What did you get? Ooh, the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Whoa! There's a huge bug on the tree. It's about like that big. All right, where's this bug? Looks like it flew away. When there's another bug comes. Oh, there it is. There, right there. Okay, watch out. There it is. <laughs> Do you know what it looks like to me, you guys? What? It looks kind of like a moth. That's not a moth. Oh, uh, you're right. It, maybe it's a bee. Let's get this thing out of the... So I was able to just flick it up above the net and it flew away. <laughs> Honestly, you guys, this tramp has been like the best investment ever. The kids jump on it for over an hour or two every single day. All right, so we just finished having lunch. The kids are telling me all about summer camp. And apparently every day... For summer camp, they have a homework assignment where they have to build or create something. I'm doing this one. The Leaning Tower of Peas. Of Peas? Oh. <laughs> it's the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Which one are you doing, Isaac? Empire State Building. I couldn't really find a way to do it because we don't have enough piece of all gray. So all right, Caleb, which one do you have? That is going to be a tough one. So what's your plan? 
I'm just gonna go like this. I only can do two of the... The towers? Yeah. All right, and here's the kids' finished projects. I'm really happy with how they turned out. You guys worked hard. Mm -hmm. I think you guys both got a little bit discouraged at one point. Do you guys have any advice for kids that are working on something and it gets hard? What do you do? Keep on trying and just try to make it Keep how you thought. And just try to make it how you think you like it. Mm. What's and your advice? keep it up. Just don't give up. And keep going. Keep going. And just help. call a parent. Your mom and dad can tell you an idea. That's a good idea. That's how I um, started getting better. Did you have some advice too? Mm -hmm. It's best to not be like trying to make it really perfect. At first, I try to make it perfect and make it best, better than everyone's, and make it like really big. And then it turned out it worked best small. Don't just try and make it perfect. So it kind of helped when you simplified your idea? Yeah. Yeah, and then did you have fun with it? Mm -hmm. Well, I am really proud of you all. Those are some good looking buildings. Was it fun to learn about the buildings? Yeah. I didn't, I knew it was born around the 1830s. Do buildings get born? No. They get built. Yeah. It was built in 1931. Well, they are basically born, just it takes a longer time. How are they born? They don't come from a mother. <laughs> that would be weird. So like, mothers, we just have to eat a house, then they would go in their tummy, and they would have to get fatter, fatter, fatter. Oh, I don't want to birth a house. That does not sound fun. And like a mommy house? has pregnant so it gets fatter and fatter and fatter and then plop one plop one plop one plop one <laughs> and you plop that and then that's how you get the other houses yeah and that's uh -huh. how you make the wood like so I so you make wood boop 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 and it should build it up so we've decided that it's time to change the seating arrangement in our van and we're gonna whoop you okay you all right big girl you okay? Yeah. Did you slip on the step? Yeah. Let's fall down to the step and that step. Laura, are you okay if we turn your seat around? Yeah. You like that? Did you just eat a booger? Yeah. I've never seen you do that. I saw you do that. It's kind of gross. Let's not do that, okay? Okay. I turned it around. I'm trying to get this, this seat out. in the back. Are you okay with that? So when we were looking for a van, we looked really hard for an eight passenger version of this van. So that allows us to take a seat out while still keeping all of our kids in there. Ugh. Ew! Inside of it. Should we vacuum it? Ew, underneath it. Yeah, should we clean that out? Yeah. It's Laura, climb into your seat. Laura, were you able to just climb in all by yourself? That's going to be nice. Do you like sitting in this direction, Laura? Okay, you guys ready? How do you clean your car? Do you go somewhere to get it clean? Do you clean it at home? Or do you not have a car? I'm so excited right now. This is the first time in two weeks or more, probably longer, that I have cleaned my kitchen. And it feels so good to be feeling good enough 
to clean my kitchen. So I had a few like rough hours this afternoon when I really wasn't feeling good. But then this evening I'm feeling better and I'm so excited. I started a little laundry and I did the dishes and Jeremy took the kids out when I wasn't feeling good like an hour or two ago. And I'm so excited for him to come home and not have this all to deal with. And anyway, I'm really grateful. Like this is day two of the medication and I think it's helping, yes. We picked up the house because some friends are coming to bring us dinner tonight and they came all the way from Utah to bring us dinner, which is pretty far and amazing. So any guesses? 